Hey guys, welcome back to Reignited. Now I've got something extra special for you today. Now I would say that most people know my channel as being the guy who recommends installing a Hellcat oil pump on your Gen 3 Hemi to help prevent that lifter failure from happening. Now if you want more information about why I believe this is to be the case, go ahead and watch this video right here or I will link it down below. But the short version is the Hellcat oil pump is a higher volume oil pump than your stock pump. Now the reason that's important is because most of these lifter issues seem to crop up on vehicles that have extended idle time. So when you're idling, that's the lowest RPM your engine is going to be at, and it's going to make the lowest oil pressure at that time. Now by installing a higher volume oil pump, you're going to be pushing more oil through the engine at that critical time and protecting these critical components. So that in conjunction with doing your maintenance at the proper intervals are the two best things I can say that will help prevent this lifter failure. Now the reason I've always recommended a Hellcat pump isn't because I have any special allegiance towards Dodge, it's that the Hellcat pump was the only pump that was out there on the market to have improved volume over your stock pump. Well I'm happy to say that is no longer the case. Alright you guys, I'm sure you could have guessed where this is going by the giant Melling banner behind me, but this is Melling's brand new 10452 high volume oil pump. Now this fits 09 and up Gen 3 Hemi engines, we're talking 5.7, 6.4s, even the Hellcats, the 6.2s. And what's important about this pump is that the Hellcat pump is a 12% higher volume pump than your stock pump is. This is a 20% higher volume than your stock pump. So if our entire point here is forcing more oil through the system in those low idle situations, full stop, this is a better option than the Hellcat pump. Now, I feel like I've been waiting a long time to say that. I've been waiting for a company to come out with an aftermarket high volume pump. And for the longest time, Melling has had the high volume pumps available for the 03 to 08 models. In fact, I'll show you those pumps here in a little bit, but they haven't had anything but a stock volume pump for the 09 and up until very recently when they actually released this pump. So I am super excited about this. Now, I do want to make something abundantly clear, you guys. I am not being paid by Melling to make this video. They sent me this pump and a couple other pumps, so that way I could take a look at them, review them, give that information to you guys. But I am not making a dime from this from Melling. And also, I don't make anything off of the sales of the actual pumps themselves, which is actually kind of unfortunate. I really would have liked that. But I'm just trying to tell you guys that the only reason I'm making this video is because I'm excited about a new option being available. And it is, in fact, a better option than the Hellcat pump is. Now, it just keeps getting better with this pump as well, you guys. I just looked up yesterday at the dealership I work at, the list price for a Hellcat pump, and it is $321. It's going to vary based on where you're at in the country, but in my area, $321 was the actual price for a Hellcat pump. And like basically all Chrysler parts right now, it is on back order. So there's really no telling when you're going to actually receive the pump. Now these, on the other hand, they're on Jegs and Summit right now for $213. So two thirds the price, you're getting a higher volume than the Hellcat pump and they're actually available. I really don't think you're gonna find a better situation than that. All right, we're gonna pop this pump open and take a closer look at it. I'll go ahead and directly compare it to a stock 5.7 pump. Okay, I certainly don't recommend that you actually take your pump apart. I'm just doing this for visual purposes, but if you'll notice here, the rotor on the Melling pump is visibly thicker than the stock 5.7 pump. However, that is not the entire story. All right, as I've shown on my channel many times, the stock thickness rotor here is 14 millimeters. And on the Melling pump, you're looking at 16 millimeters, which is the same as a Hellcat pump. However, like I said, that's not the whole story. So if you look at the teeth here on the stock 5.7 pump, notice how much smaller they are than the Melling teeth here. They're, these are very much larger. Now there is actually one less tooth on the Melling pump than on the 5.7 pump. However, with how much larger they are, that in conjunction with the width of this rotor here, that's how you're getting that full 20% increase. Okay, a couple more things about this pump, you guys. You can see that it has this really nice anodized coating on there. That's because this is from the Melling Performance brand. That's why it looks the way that it does. Now this pump is OEM quality or better. I have no concerns about it lasting the test of time. We know what kind of a company Melling is. Now it also comes with a new oil pump pickup tube O-ring, very important to replace anytime you put a pump on. But even more importantly, it comes with a stock PSI relief spring. Now the pump actually comes with a high pressure spring installed, but if you are planning on installing this on an engine that you are planning to keep your MDS system, you will need to swap to the stock spring Otherwise, you're going to get that P0524 code. 
So you swap the spring in there and you should have no codes, your NBS system should work just fine and you should still receive all the benefits of having the high volume pump at those lower RPMs. Now the last benefit I want to point out here about this particular pump is that I've had several people contact me and say, hey, I've had my car in the shop being worked on and I tried to get my mechanic to install a Hellcat pump, but they refused to install it. Now the reason for that is because technically the catalogs say that the 6.2 pump is not a direct cross to a 5.7 or a 6.4, so they didn't want to accept the liability behind that. Now the truth is that the 6.2 pump, the Hellcat pump, does work perfectly on a 5.7 and a 6.4. It's a direct bolt-on replacement, but I can certainly understand these shops' hesitation because the catalog says it doesn't work, so they're not going to accept that liability. You will not have that problem with this pump. This is directly marketed for 5.7s and 6.4 engines as a direct fit replacement, so your mechanic will have no qualms about installing one of these. One more thing to point out here is that you do want the 10452 high volume pump. So the one that says HV, the normal part number 10452, that is a standard volume pump with a high pressure spring in it. This is the one you want, 10452 HV. Now I have something for you guys as well. Now Melling did also send me out this 342 HV pump. Now this is the oil pump for the pre-2009 engines. So 2003 to 2008 Gen 3 Hemi engines. This is the high volume pump for those. It is a direct fit bolt-on deal. And I'm gonna give it away to one of you guys. So I know there's quite a few of you in my audience out there who have those early model Gen 3 Hemi engines who would be very excited about having a high volume pump for it. The only thing you have to do to enter here is put the word Melling in the comments down below and after two weeks time, I'll go ahead and draw a winner. So Melling sent this pump to me for free. I'm going to send it to one of you for free. Now, of course, Melling doesn't sell these pumps directly. They do so through distributors. But if you guys could do me a huge favor, if you decide to actually purchase one of these pumps in your order, if you could put in the comments there that Sky from Reignited sent you, I would really appreciate that. It would mean a lot to me. Now, in conjunction with that new oil pump, they also have some other products available for our Gen 3 Hemi engines that I was not even aware of that they made. In fact, they have their own set of lifters and they have some performance camshafts available for these engines. Now, if either of these are things that you guys would like to see more of on the channel here, see me review them, show them to you guys, by all means, Give those guys at Melling an email, let them know. I'd love to work with them further. So in the end, you guys, it's all about these Hemi engines. We love our engines. We want them to last a long time. And we especially don't want to have major expensive repairs in the future that we could have prevented earlier on. So like I said, I think installing one of these high volume pumps is going to be one of your best preventative measures against having that happen to you. And we want to thank companies like Melling for stepping up and trying to keep our engines safe. Now in the future, I'll be installing this new pump and I'll do a direct comparison between that pump and the Hellcat pump that's installed on my Twin Charge Magnum, get you guys some actual real world data. But until that time, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Reignited.